Lesotho. They call this place the country within the country, but I like to call it a country within a continent outside of a country. That I know who I am. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. It's very similar, right? <laughs> like, I didn't know anything about this place until actually visiting it. I had a homie that put me on last minute. Like, Well, you can just go to Lesotho. Go to Lesotho and for like a couple of days, for like three days or a week. You know what I'm saying? And then, it, and then it, you come back. Hey, man, you should, instead of trying to fly to one of these other countries that are further away, why don't you just do a VC, uh, a visa run, sorry, not a VC run, a visa run to Lesotho, and you can check out Lesotho for a day or two and then come back so you don't spend as much money, you know, I know you got a lot of stuff going on, so why don't you just do this? And I'm like, well, I'm, I've never done a visa run, and I'd have to say it it is very convenient but it can be somewhat of a hassle um when it comes to people working outside of the the actual main borders like at the airport the i would say the service you're going to get is going to be a little bit slack so i had an issue where i was supposed to get set or sorry i was supposed to get 30 days but the guy wrote or stamped me for seven so when i when i reminded him like hey bro um, I was supposed to get 30. He just draw, he just writes over it with a pen. So then a few days later, I'm thinking, you know, he's the, he's the official, so it should be fine. A few days later, I go to the bank to go withdraw some money. They ask to see my passport. Lord behold, hey, this looks like you changed it. We don't know if you're here legally or illegal. I'm like, bro, even if the date was changed, it still, it was still within the time period I was supposed to be in the country. To, man this country was actually a pretty dope place man um it's not especially in M Masaru there were only two malls and I'll cover those malls in this video but to you know to go on and say oh I did this and I did that I was only there for a limited amount of time so this is just gonna be a recap I'm not gonna go into specifics about hey this this and that because I only stayed two places I only visited two malls I ate at two places you know I, I didn't really get to do too much but nonetheless, I did get to see a lot in the time frame from the border to where I was lodging at. <laughs> and then, you know, back and forth. So infrastructure wise, this place right here, I paid about 40 USD per night. But the people were outstanding. They were amazing people. Really kind, really informative, really helpful. I actually went out to the club later. That, or not a club. It was like a restaurant slash, slash lounge thing. And actually got to meet up with the hostess and stuff like that. She was a cool woman and everything. So beyond that point, as far as infrastructure of the roads and stuff, the roads were, you know, a little rough, needed a little work and stuff like that, but it wasn't nothing that you couldn't, you know, maneuver around. As far as my lodging here, it was definitely, uh, the internet was up to par, um, didn't have any issues with like gaps in between the doors or bugs or anything like that. You know, everything was so, like structurally sound. It was actually quite affordable. I think it was great for its price point. So if you're ever in Lesotho, make sure to go check this place out. Um, came with air condition, which one thing I noticed in SA, it's not common to find a place that has air condition. So this place did have air conditioning, even, you know, this is Lesotho, but nonetheless, I didn't think if SA didn't have, I didn't think Lesotho would have it either since they're so, you know, close together and have so much in common. As far as like nightlife and things like that, it's actually a vibe, but you have to be careful with recording. There's a lot of politicians there. And the guy tapped me and was like, yo, it's a lot of dudes who come there with their girlfriends. So they don't want their wives to see them in the recordings and stuff like that. So. You definitely gotta be careful for all my vloggers who plan on going out here to record, but it was definitely a lot of single women out there, a lot of single men vibing. So for all my fellas who always ask, you know, where can I go to meet some nice women? This would be the place and ladies, vice versa. Um, the food here was quite expensive. This place is actually, it's, it's probably one of the more expensive places. It's, it's what, a four or five star restaurant. It's actually quite expensive. Um, just a heads up, but the food was really great. I had like ostrich and uh, it was like ostrich spinach and some potatoes. And then my guest had like a seafood platter. So some other cheaper options will be 
this place right here. Now this place I had the oh, was it fried hike. It was it was outstanding. No, I'm capping. It wasn't. So what I noticed when I was at this place is the it was 50-50. Like one of the pieces wasn't so fresh. Now that I'm now that I'm recalling, I'm I'm doing this video right off the top of the head. So one of the pieces was not so fresh, and I was kind of I wasn't upset, but I was kind of disappointed. And but nonetheless, my guest enjoyed her food and. You know, it just was what it was. This place wasn't expensive at all. It was kind of like a little fast food joint, but as you can see, it was it was really populated. You know, a lot of nice looking women inside. As you can see, the food right here looks good, but you know, when you when you bust that fish open, it kind of had like a little off smell. Her food looks great. She said it was great, so it was very reasonable, quick, and ready to go, hot and ready, you feel me? This place not only reminded me of South Africa with the exception of colored people and a bunch of white people. There is said to be a bunch of Chinese people here. They, they say the Chinese pretty much run the country. I didn't see as many as I thought I would because um, she told me that the Chinese typically live off in like the Greenland, like they got their own area. But nonetheless, this place, as far as looks and development, it really reminded me of Tanzania. Uh, the people were a darker skin tone. They were, they were most definitely light skin people, but for the most part, as you can see in the video, a good number of the people were dark skin. Um, this was like a local market that I did a walk through. It was real, hmm. It, it was, like I said, it was real Tanzania vibes. And if you don't know anything about Tanzania, I would say um, a little less developed than South Africa. More, more or less in the part that I was in. Maybe if you go somewhere else, it'll be a lot more developed. But as you can just see right here, you know, there's, there's potholes in the road. But then, you know, some places in South Africa, also you can go there, it'll look similar to this. So just in my opinion, it's a little less developed in South Africa, but still just as nice. I think the mall that I frequent the most was Pioneer Mall. In the couple of days that I was there, Pioneer Mall was definitely dope. They had a bunch of uh, sneaker shops inside, uh, all the typical stuff. They have a shop right here. I'm not sure if SA has shop right, and I know it's bad to compare two countries, but since they are so close, they like brother and sister country, and it's the last country that I was in, I have to give like a, a base point. You know what I mean? I wouldn't compare it to obviously America. It's been a long time I've been there since I've been there. So. Um, as far as like the mall, they had like ShopRite, which I don't typically see too often. I don't think, I'm not sure. There may be a ShopRite in South Africa, but I, I haven't seen one recently. And I seen one when I went that side. So like I said, most of the time when I seen ShopRite, it was in like places like Tanzania, and like in East African countries. All right, y'all. So we almost to the end of the video. Make sure to give the man a thumbs up, a thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Also, click the link in the description below. I just finished the Bloom for Team Travel Guide, so make sure to go check that out. Run that up for me. Um, this is quite a speed run. I was only there for a limited amount of time. I'm gonna go back and get more in detailed footage, but I wanted to, you know, keep y'all in tune and up to date with my travels as I'm going through them. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Thumbs up, share. Click the link in the description below. Check out the travel guide and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.